Welcome to the video, my friends. Just a quick one today. Uh, did you know that ray tracing was enabled for Pascal, I believe, 1060, 6 gigabyte and up graphics cards? I literally just found this out, but apparently it's been a thing for like a year. So yeah, enabled DirectX 12, DXR enabled. You might have to restart where you will have to restart your game as well. Uh, we've also got everything ultra, ultra settings, 1080p, of course, and my monitor is 144 hertz. Not that I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to hit... 4 FPS probably. I don't know. Let's try it. It's uh, we've got it all on, so um, let's. Uh, it's not too bad. Definitely not a high FPS, but um, you can see those reflections in that in that puddle there. I've just gone into a single player story. Apparently, multiplayer is better FPS. I mm, I don't know, but you can see the reflections there with the ray tracing. So if you fancy um, just seeing what it's it's like. I guess, and not take it too seriously. You can, can put it on if you've... I mean, I'm running a 1070 here, so... It's definitely uh, not the best FPS, to be fair. But, I mean, you can see what it looks like and see if you like it. And if it's worth buying a better card, I guess. Um, I turn this off and I get super high FPS. Uh, 4790K, I'm still running CPU-wise. Uh, 16 gig of memory and uh, 1070. Um, but it is mm, on the verge of playable as it is. Um, it's not perfect, of course. But oh, do we get the reflections on our gun as well? So we get the, sh the shininess on the gun. Uh, you can see all the characters in puddles, as we've seen. There we go, I'm getting shot. We can see the truck and everything, reflections. That FPS is... I don't think it knows what it wants to do, to be honest, but... I mean, we'll, we'll have a look at some different scenes. I'll try multiplayer, see if the FPS is any better. We'll just experiment, really, with this RTX thing on uh, on these 10 series cards. I did not know this was a thing. Yeah. Well, let's try... Um, I guess we'll just jump straight into multiplayer. We know it works, and the FPS isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. But yeah, it's not perfect. So let's let's just jump into a multiplayer game. And uh, see if we can find some glass and things like that and see what it looks like. And how multiplayer performs. Anyway, hmm, yes, without further ado. Okay, we've jumped into a game of Rotterdam. Uh, we can see the reflections on them puddles there. Reflecting that building. Need to find some glass. It doesn't seem any better, the FPS. Uh... Okay, it doesn't reflect ourselves, but we can see the buildings behind us, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I, I, the only thing I can't turn on is DLSS, which I think is an RTX only feature. Uh, it's grayed out. You cannot select it at all. But you can experiment with R RTX. Just got shanked. And it probably looks better with a proper RTX card as well, to be honest, because uh, I'm sure them clothes aren't supposed to look like that. But then who knows? Maybe that's a uniform that I don't know is in the game. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, we've got these flamey puddle cars. So, yeah, this map was the one featured in the trailers prominently with the tank running over and the flames and the puddles. So, uh, yeah, you can you get a good idea of, you know, the reflections and things like that. And I don't know, is it worth it? Spending that much money for just nice reflections? Uh, they work very basic without RTX on. They're still kind of reflecty, but this is just a lot clearer. I suppose in a single player game, it just adds that touch of realism. But for the most part, if you like me and you like to play good in multiplayer, or attempt to anyway, psh, who am I kidding? Uh, uh, you, you turn your settings down and you don't want all this stuff that's going to make your FPS high. Uh, yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the characters uh, with this setting I've got. They don't, something looks off, uh, but we got nice reflections, but it's, it's screwed up our character's models. I mean... It looks nice. Apparently, Metro Exodus is a good one to throw out. I'm not sure on the performance will, will be like on that, but um, it looks nice with, uh, with the uh, ray tracing. So, 
could be one to look at. Uh, I haven't got it installed at the moment, sadly. Otherwise, I would have just done it for this video. But Battlefield 5, I thought, was the next best thing for for looks. It does look nice. It's quite eye-catching, the wetness. And the glass, of course. doesn't reflect ourselves, but if we can get a friend to stand near some glass, maybe. Might be able to see them. I'll just follow this guy, give him a little bit of a stalking. Uh, it's probably not glass down here, to be honest. Okay. He just blew it. He just blew all the glass up. There was glass. Uh, yeah, they just blew all the glass up. Nice one, boys. Trying to showcase uh, race racing on a 1070, and you just ruined my my only chance. Uh, no, it's all right. They're having fun. They're having fun. We'll leave them alone. Oh, the reflections on the car as well. Can we see our friend on the reflection on the car? Oh, we can see ourselves in this. <gasps> Hello, me. Where can I see myself in the glass? I can see myself there. That's weird. Yeah, can't see myself in that glass, but I can see myself in the car. I mean, is that normal? Oh, I can see myself in that glass. Okay, so it does work. You can see yourself. They're all down there. The gun's nice and shiny as well. You can see reflections. It actually looks like it reflects uh, reflects the geometry on the gun, which is pretty nice. Chromie revolver always does the job well. Well, anyway, that's just a quick one. Just taking a look at RTX uh, without RTX race racing on a 1070 um, or whatever card you've got. Uh, 1060 upwards, six gigabyte minimum memory. That's um, I'd say that's probably 20 to 30 FPS up and down. Um, it's not really playable in a multiplayer scenario, but it looks all right, doesn't it? It's all shiny. Look at that. Pretty good. And I'll, I'll just be turning this all back down and off <laughs> for multiplayer because uh, you need that, that high FPS advantage. But hey, let me know if you knew about this race racing on uh, other cards. Leave a like. Uh, if you didn't, uh, leave um, a comment and let me know. And have you tried it? What FPS do you get? What games have you tried? I tried. Ah, actually, I tried Quake 2 RTX. Got 7 FPS. Uh, so that's great. But apparently that's not very well optimized. So, uh, And it throws a lot of the ray tracing stuff into it. Whereas this isn't, I don't think, so heavy. Plus, this is a like well optimized AAA title. So, well, it is now anyway. So, yeah. Look at that water as well. Cheeky water. Let's jump in. Look at them reflections. That's pretty sexy. Not that you'll notice it in high-speed multiplayer gameplay, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The only good thing, really, is uh, they're a lot faster in general, these these new RTX cards. So I suppose that's worth an upgrade, just for the higher FPS in general. Oh, that looks quite nice down here. See all their, like, shiny wet bricks and... Well, that... No, I thought that'd like set fire to the floor and it'd all light up and all be nice, but uh, it didn't. But that looked nice though. It don't look too bad, but uh, yeah. L leave a like, subscribe if you enjoy the channel. And if I informed you today or you found this interesting and you didn't know about it, uh, and we're just is it just me? I have been away for a year. I don't know. I'm out of the loop. I just stabbed that for, for no reason. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you peeps. Next time, I'm going to go and get myself killed. We have won this but it will look good while I'm doing it. Oh, jeez, look at this floor. That's a, that's a good looking floor. You could eat your dinner off that.